Bob is walking down the aisle. Dude sticks his foot out, and it's dark, you know. So Bob almost trips over his foot. Almost trips over his foot. Bob was like, oh. So he's like, hey, man, apologize. I said, wait, hey, bro, you stuck your foot out. So Bob was like, well, what are you talking about, apologize? He's like, man, you, you better apologize. I said, hey, check this out, homie. This, he didn't mean it. I don't need you to say nothing. I want him to apologize right now. I said, well, hold up, Mexican. You, you're going in a little too deep. So his partner jumps up. Like, man, he better apologize. I said, well, check this out, bro. This is just a business. We just do, I don't know what y'all, ends up, these dudes are Linwood Sheriff. He's the oh, police, they, oh right? really? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Uh, I wanna ask you a question about Bobby. I know we talked about Bobby Brown and, and uh, Usher that night, but just detailing or dealing with Bobby, again, that goes back to Shahi, right? That yeah. put you in position. Right. Like, how was that being around that Bobby Brown during that time, him and Whitney as well at yeah. that time? Yeah. Like, w give me something to understand. We were just like, talking about that yesterday. Yeah. Um, it was like, uh, I was telling, uh, one of my partners, we were discussing the Rich Carlton. Okay. The Rich Carlton Hotel. Of course. That, that's uh, Whitney's favorite hotel. That was Whitney Houston's yeah, favorite the, hotel. The, the Rich Carlton. So uh, we do the Rich Carlton in Marina Del Rey. And so we did the Rich Carlton in Marina Del Rey. The one in Pasadena is for old white folks. It ain't like, and then the one in Laguna Niguel. It's right on the beach, but it's a, I love the one in Marina Del Rey, you know. So. Yeah. It, it just uh, um, that was my detail, Bobby Christina. I, I deal with the kids. Oh, Prince, so you, you Prince kept here, Bobby Christina, little Bobby. I don't chase white folks. I, I mean, grown folks. I I deal with the kids, you know. So I. Bobby How Christina. was that? Like, what did they tell you? Like, just look after our kids, yeah. watch out, make sure take, she good. Take them to the mall. Take them to take them to uh, uh, the movies. Uh, if they going somewhere, when. Uh, I did uh, the movie with with Bob, um, uh, Gang of Roses. It was called. It was what was it originally called? Some roses and the that thing, Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. But okay. then the musical group Guns and Roses had a problem with it, so they named it Gang of Roses. That's with uh, what's the lady name that wear white all the time? Lisa, Lisa Ray. Ray. Lisa Ray and. Um, Vanessa Calhoun, what's her name? Is her name Vanessa Calhoun? Oh, Monica Calhoun. Okay. Ma Monica Calhoun. She's the one to play it in the Best Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Monica Calhoun and that girl Jet Lee. Yeah. Yeah, though though it's a it's a cowboy movie. Wow. Yeah. And so you was around then dealing with Bobby and, and dealing with uh Should tell you a funny incident. It would ain't funny, it's really uh Bob, we went to uh, this restaurant, um uh, Call is it Saddle Ranch on okay. Sunset. Saddle Ranch. Right. So we go up in there. So they call Bob up to the stage. They, they call Bob up to the stage. Bob went up to the stage. Me, him, his brother Tommy, his uh, son Landon, and another little entourage, right? So he goes up to the stage. And he's singing. As he's coming down the stage, this me these two Mexicans is sit stand sitting down there with their girls. They sitting with their girls, and um, dudes, Bob is walking down the aisle. Dude sticks his foot out, and it's dark, you know. So Bob almost trips over his foot. Almost trips over his foot. Bob like, oh, so he like, hey man, apologize. I said, wait, hey, bro, you stuck your foot out. So Bob like, well, what are you talking about? Apologize. He like, man, you you better apologize. I said, hey, check this out, homie. This, he didn't mean it. I don't need you to say nothing. I want him to apologize right now. I said, well, hold up, Mexican. You, you're going in a little too deep. So his partner jumps up. Like, man, he better apologize. I said, well, check this out, bro. This is just a business. We just do, I don't know what y'all, ends up, these dudes are Linwood Sheriff. He's the oh, they, oh right? really? Yeah, so, so we go in, he's going in, and I'm like, Bob, just stand back. So Tommy walks up, so. Tommy walk. So now these like five of the white boys come up. What's going on, man? Yeah, these these niggers here. Wait, wait a minute, hold up, boy. Who in the fuck is you talking to? So this little white boy, he's like, man, you know who we are? I said, frankly, I don't give a fuck who you are. So what the fuck is you telling me? Smith, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. 
So I'm like, kill me. I said, well, check this out, Cracker. You got over the hard part. You said it. Now, let's get this done. What the fuck is, you know, we're, 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 we're Linwood Sheriff. I said, oh, is that right? I said, well, I'm a, I'm a Compton Pyro. Nigga, like, what? What is this? So he like, we're, we're going to do something. So now landing there is beside them. Everybody scats but me, Bobby, and then Tommy. <laughs> oh, damn. So we up against like 15 of these dudes, right? So now we didn't got to the point where Bob is like, man, come on, Mark. Now I'm at, we came back down. Yeah. Like you didn't talk about killing. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's make this move. So we stand, so this sergeant comes up and he comes up, he like, man, check this, what's going on? Like, Marvin Kinsey, man, yeah, I know you. I'm like, yeah, okay. So he's gonna know me, right? So he said, man, can we just, uh, he said, he said no, he's gonna know He's me. gonna know, this, this, this cracker is talking about killing. I told you, this is a business, man. I do this for a living, right? So he's like, man, this is, so, but don't nobody make a move, right? And then like, it's three of us, and it's like 12 of them. But they're like, how in the hell, do this dude got a gun? Why in the hell is he barking at us so damn hard, right? So he's like, shit. Well, he said, look, man, we don't want a problem with you, and I know you don't want a problem with us. I said, man, I, yeah, I'm born with problems. What, what do y'all want to do? So he tells, his he tells his crew, stand down. Stand the fuck down, get the fuck back. So they back up, hey, yeah, man, I'll see you in the street. I'm like, I'm on Elm Street. Come holler at me, Crocker. Whenever you see me, come holler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we back up, so Bob say, damn, uh, I told him, man, was we really gonna fight them? We really was, bro. Mm -hmm. He said, but his heart, he's, my birthday's February the 4th, his is February the 5th. He's an Aquarian, he's a space cadet, he's in all the way he in. He all the way in, no matter what. So he didn't bag down. At all. And, and it wasn't just three of y'all. It, 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 was, it was like 15 that started, but it ended up with those three. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him and him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show the Bob. I, I met Bobby Brown at Palms Hotel in in uh, Vegas. In, in Vegas, uh -huh. you know that's where I met he him. He's a good man. He, yeah, he yeah, definitely. We walked good. walked out the door and just was talking and chopping it up together. But that's crazy. He that ain't you gonna was, pay you, but he a good man. He, he ain't gonna pay you. Yeah, what yeah, you mean yeah, he ain't gonna pay you? Yeah. I, I had a, 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 a FOI diamond ring, right? And we were going to the American Music Awards. So he like, all right, let me use your ring. Let me use your like. Next, you want to use my wife. What the hell? No. <laughs> so I gave this fool the ring. He get drunk and lose my ring. Oh, damn. And never pay me. He didn't bring it up no more. Yeah, yeah he brought it up, but he didn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> man, Bobby, you owe some money, man. man you got to you you check, check in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> check in. I'm back on tour and shit. Give me my like, shit. Uh, that's, the, when you look at these guys now and they able to just, you know, keep going after all these years, man. As yourself, you know, like these celebrities, man, to be in that atmosphere for this long a time, man, it got to be pressure to have somebody watching you just all the time. All the man. time. I mean, it is pressure. And, and and you've seen the movement. Like these guys were at the epitome. Of, these were the pinnacle of their 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 careers. And as y'all move, people the sticking the leg out, the the just just knowing who you are and you don't know who they are. Just you like, know what I mean? Right. But they watching and you having to watch for them and be one that has to be their eyes and watching different See, things. It's just like, I'm with you. And somebody comes up drunk, 90% of the dudes are inebriated as something. Oh, Mike, I'll kick your ass and I'll do this and this and that. So, if you hit him, you get in a lawsuit. Yeah. I tag his ass up. I'm he, all he getting is pressure from me. <laughs> yeah, he, get a, he getting that pressure. Oh, he works for Mike Tyson. He, no, I don't work for nobody. I'm on. What are you talking? I'm from Compton. That's crazy. But people will try to challenge you to try to get a check. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.